everyone, it's Darla from Crafty Yarn Apple. Welcome to my channel. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing good. So, I tried to get out as many videos as I could last week with hubby being home uh, due to a knee injury. I think I got out three videos. I think that's pretty good. <laughs> so he's doing much better. So what do you do, or what, what did I do when I couldn't do a lot of filming? I designed, I designed. So this is one of the tops. I guess this was within the last week and a half. I made three new designs and so I just have to do the tutorials. This will be the first one. And uh, this is made with, um, I think this is the label, Caron Cotton Cake, one of their new colors. It's a medium four weight, uh, Elderberry Rose. It's the color and I think it's a pretty pretty color gee I really need to invest in a white bra Ugh. anyway <laughs> that's neither here nor there all right so this is the top it's made in one piece and um, it's just the same on the back and uh, it's easy it's fast when you use a four weight yarn and uh, yeah it's, it's just fun and easy to make. I love this stitch so much. I've used it in other designs and it just works up so quickly, especially when you use a four weight. But this top can be made in a one weight, two weight, three weight, four weight, even a five if you want. Um, yeah, but the fun thing about this one is you don't have to wear it off your shoulders. Ta -da! You can wear it like that as well. So it's pretty cool and um, comfortable, very comfortable. So that's one thing I designed. So I guess I'll show you the next one after I do a little bit of a... You know. <laughs> All right, I'll show you the next one. Now this is another one I designed. It's a different stitch than that first one I showed you. It is off the shoulder, but you don't have to wear it off the shoulder. You wear it like this. <laughs> this is the back. And now, this was made with some yarn that the lovely Dee from Dee's Creative Hands gifted me. And some Happy Mail I showed you recently. This is a Yarn B authentic hand-dyed yarn. Yes, and look at those colors. I had shown it to you in the video and I thought the colors, like I had taken it out of the hank and was holding it. I thought the colors were long. Um, I always don't know what to call that. Long strips of color but they were really shorter than I thought and I thought what am I going to make so I racked my brain and came up with this so I really really love it I really love it I love how the um, the colors came out to me what it makes me think of is if somebody dips a paintbrush into a whole bunch of colors and just goes like this and splashes you <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. <laughs> and I love it. I love it. Now, she gave me two. And uh, some of you may know that hand-dyed yarns are all different. Like, even if it's the same colorway. She gave me two exactly the same. But you can probably see this gray is lighter than this gray at the bottom. So that's how it was. So I took some of this gray the darker gray and I put some of it at the top and I put some of it around the arm holes but I really like it I like the way it turned out the lighter gray and then the darker gray I like the way it turned out yeah I'm so happy with this all right so this colorway is a meteorite's delight and I just love it what do you guys think 
What do you think? And this is a one weight, super fine one. Yeah. <laughs> I work with ones every now and then, but not too often, but I, I'm getting more into them, I think. I'm getting out of my comfort zone of the um, twos, threes, fours, I guess, maybe. And oh, I'm, go, I'm all over the place. I'm doing one weights, two weights, three weights, four weights. Yeah, so this is a one weight, super fine one. And uh, this is super wash merino wool, 100%. Um, and it suggests a hook size of a hook size of three millimeter. I think that's what I use, three or three and a half. Um, I have it written down somewhere. But anyway, there will be a tutorial for this, but I'll use a heavier yarn in the tutorial because you can make this top with one weight, two weight, three weight, four weight, five weight. Yeah, use whatever yarn you want. So. Um, Watch for that. Uh, it, it'll be a while though because I'm trying not to put too much pressure on myself to get out tutorials. Uh, nobody's putting pressure on me but me and I've rushed through um, you know trying to get them done and out and uh, and you know I'm not enjoying the process and that's not good so trying to slow down with doing that and you know I'm the only one pushing putting pressure on myself I'm, I'm not going to do that anymore <laughs> okay but so it'll be up, out eventually uh the first top I showed you that will be out first and then this one will be out second and I got a third a third item that I have designed so it's not quite finished being made certainly not close to being recorded <laughs> but I'll show you a sneak peek of the next one. It's not an off-the-shoulder top. It's something different. So let's look at that one. Now here's the third one. I'm not gonna, it is a wearable. I'm not gonna put it on, but I'm just gonna give you a sneak peek of what it looks like. And uh, the yarn I'm using for this is the, it's in the bag, in the bag. This is the Butterfly Yarn from Hobie. And this is a light three, I believe. Let me just, Move my tape out of the way. A light three weight. And this colorway is number seven. There we go. And so, yeah, so this is the start. The start. I got a pretty good start on it. Um, so that'll be tutorial number three that, that will be coming up. So watch for these in the next few weeks. And, um, <sighs> I have been busy. You know what? I not only was designing things, I actually washed my kitchen floor. I did other cleaning around the house. Yay for me! <laughs> and my hubby colored my hair yesterday. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you real soon. I've been tagged, so I'm going to do a tag video. Yay! All right, you guys, see you soon. Bye for now. Mm-hmm. <laughs>